Hey you guys, welcome to Blue Granger. Please take a moment to subscribe to this channel and like if you like. Today's topic is the moon. Well, the moon and its power. The moon is an astronomical body which orbits Earth and from a spiritual perspective acts like a satellite. It is synchronous to the Earth, thus we only see the one side of it. It has physical characteristics that can be explored, but what does the moon do? Well, the moon makes an impression of the ocean's tides, and the moon is known to control emotions within us. The moon has been associated with lunacy. The great philosophers relayed to us that constant staring at the moon could drive one mad. As the ocean's tides are controlled by the moon, and the human brain being mostly water, it is also affected by the moon and its power. Wisdom, creativity, and intuition thrive from the moon. Now onto the moon's power. The moon births, grows, matures, then dies every 30 days. Let's take a look at its phases and their significance in relation to life on Earth. Of course, the moon and its powers are not just for humans, but everything can be affected. However, the emphasis will be of humanity first and foremost. For within the unseen powers and principalities, we are constantly operating without awareness, not realizing our thoughts, feelings, and words are being manifested when we send them into the external. That is, from within ourselves. The moon is only one piece of the mystery that can channel your energy, so one must be aware at all times of oneself and one's intentions. The first phase, or the new moon, represents a time for new beginnings. During this time, energy can be used to put into action, goals, or start on new projects. This is the time to ask in order to receive. State affirmations or put out into the universe your soul's desire. Every month you are continually reincarnated, beginning with this first phase. The spirit is filled with strength, ideas, and inspiration as the moon builds to full. During the new moon, it would be a great idea to clarify your intentions by burning sage in order to leave behind the imprints of the previous times. For the farmers, this is the time to prep the land in order to sow in the next phase. The second phase is the waxing or growing moon. This is the time to put into action what intent you put out into the universe during the new moon. This is also the time to focus on intention, hopes, and wishes. This moon phase is very powerful, but manifestations may not come to pass right away because the moon is not fully illuminated. Still, no matter the optimist or pessimist, leaps of faith have been known to occur during these times, though one may not fully be aware of it. Thus, plant your seeds into the universe as well as the earth during this time so that it grows along with the moon so as to manifest into maturity. The third phase is the full moon. This is the time to realize completion and your desires with a peak of clarity. This is the spiritual and energetic pinnacle of what you started. During a full moon, it's a good time to cleanse your mental and physical space. Relax and meditate. Feel that full moon energy. Learn to think from your heart without judgment. After all, this is the height of the moon's power. Now is not the time to start new things. Learn to control your reactions to pain and problems, and don't make quick decisions. Having gratitude during this time is very powerful. There is always something to be thankful for, so just be thankful. The waning gibbous, which is when the moon is basically dying, this is the time of reflection, purging, and decluttering. Spiritually, this is a time to surrender, rest, and recuperate. Just empty yourself. This is a time for emotional healers, holistic healers, and spiritual healers to set into motion a great time for banishing, to make way for real healing. And in the ways of the superstitious folk, this is not the time to cut anything off that you do not want to grow. Do not cut your hair. Do not cut off people in relationships. Because basically, you're stunting its growth. 
Okay, those are the moon phases. Um, brief summary of the moon's power. We'll go deeper at another time about energy and affirmations. But for now, take care. Thank you for watching. Blue Granger.